Hello, my name is Ciprian Popa, I am product manager at Oldinnet and I would like to welcome you to this short video comparison between the old associative views and section technology and the new unified views and section. First of all, let me explain you the name unified views and section. As you know, Allplan is a BIM software that allows architects and engineers to work on the same model at the same time. But up until Allplan 2019, Architects were looking at the model with these functions, while the engineers looked at the same model with the associative views and section, which then became reinforcement views and section, and this caused a lot of confusion, as both were actually associative in their own way. In all plan 2018, the so-called architectural views and section would not show reinforcement. At the same time, the reinforcement views and sections were a nightmare for architects, as they were always created links that generated a lot of problems for architects as they did not know how to work with associative views and section. All plan 2019 simplified this by providing a single set of tools for both specialities. Architects don't need to learn anything new to work with them. Engineers, however, have to quit using the old reinforcement drawing system, which might not make them happy. Let's see together how complicated it is to work with the new unified views and section. We'll start by creating a concrete column using the column tool and we'll position it inside a 3D drawing file. Next, we'll select an empty drawing file from the section zone and make it as current drawing. To generate the view, simply select the view tool and then point the viewing direction. Place the result on the screen. That's it, you're done. Now, let's do another one, only this time something more complicated, like an isometric one. We choose same tool as before, only this time we choose lower left corner as viewing point. Place the result on the screen and you're done. Now let's continue with doing some sections. You need to select the view for which you are creating the section. Then. By doing first click, you establish the clipping start point, and with the second click, you establish the section depth. A third click will be used to establish the viewing direction. That's it, we can now place the resulted section. Now you know how to create sections. Was that too complicated to do? Well, it depends on what we are comparing it to. Let's review the steps we had to do in All Plan 2018. With the old system, we also create a new drawing for detailing in the derived from building structure area. Now let's analyze the steps. First, we have to select the elements. We have to click to establish the viewing direction. We have to manually type the name of the view. We need to manually place the label and try to center it. And we're done. Now, if we need to produce an isometric view, we need to launch the view function and select free option in the input options. Again, we need to manually type the view title. The centering of the label on top of the view needs to be done manually. Creating a section implies selecting the wanted element, choosing the direction, the section line, the depth and the viewing direction. After we place the result, we need to hit the escape button, confirm the section name by hitting enter and only then manually center it on top of the section. A lot of clicks, a lot of prompts, and a lot of manual alignment, which means less uniform drawings. What will All Plan 2019 offer us? Less clicks, less manual titles, and the same tool for both architects and engineers. Now let's learn how to reinforce with the new views and section. We will go for bar shape and select the closed stirrup shape. We place now the bar label, and with two clicks, we define the start and end point of the placement. That's it, we finish the 3D reinforcement. I know it's the same as in the old ones, but why would you fix something that is perfect? Do you remember how we used to do it in All Plan 2018? The moment we select a bar shape, the software prompts us with a big warning not to mix reinforcement with associative views. Easier said than done, as you need associative views to create reinforcement, but then you would either need to move the reinforcement to other drawings, or delete views and sections, 
and you create them in a different drawing used for detailing. Hmm, that's quite a lot of work to do. Of course you can ignore the error message and just keep mixing the reinforcement drawings with the 3D reinforcement, but at some point your project will become heavy and the machine will perform slower and slower for even the most basic function. In All Plan 2019, you are actually advised to keep one drawing with both reinforcement and detailing. In All Plan 2018, if you try to see the reinforcement with the architectural views and sections, it is impossible. So what are the benefits of the new reinforcement views and sections? You only need now one file for both reinforcement and detailing, so less files, less potential mistakes. No more unlinking of associative views or the fear of placing reinforcement in detailing views and sections. This means that you can focus more on reinforcement and less on drawing management. Still not convinced? Let me show you another trick I can do with Open 2019. I can keep the 3D model on grey, reference model, and I will try to detail it in a separate drawing. There is no problem to create any section, even if the drawing is in reference mode. Can you do that in Open 2018? No one's time with this, it is impossible. The only way to detail the 3D element is by keeping them on yellow edit mode. But yellow means claiming the element and all of your colleagues should deactivate it for you to use it. Kind of selfish way of working, don't you think? Now the question is whether you are a lone wolf and do the whole project by yourself or at some stage, especially near the delivery date, you would like some colleagues to jump in and help you with detailing and reinforcing of your elements. If it's the second case, then you'll be happy to see this. In All Plan 2018, if you wanted just to simply change the representation of viewer section, then you would need to, you would need to activate all the link drawings, which resulted in claiming the 3D model for yourself. Most of the time, somebody uh, would have been inside that drawing so you would have to politely ask him to release the drawing for you. In All Plan 2019, you can change the properties of views and section at any point without activating the reference drawing. You can take the time to choose the best representation for your views and sections so you don't have the pressure from a colleague who is waiting for you to release his drawing. We'll just remove here the section, the hatching, so it's better suited for a reinforcement drawing. Now let's say you're an architect and would like to copy some elements from one drawing to another. Can you do that in Open 2018? You think you can, but actually you can't. Why? Because your engineer friend started detailing that column and now everything is linked with the reinforcement drawings and you have no clue how to solve this issue. What happens in Open 2019? Mm, nothing special than copy paste and it works no matter how many detailing files we have linked with the first element no need to ask the engineers to unlink those elements which is cool right some things happen also when trying to send a colleague just one drawing from a linked project impossible to do it in all plan 2018 seamless process in 2019 all these features allow us to be more productive and have better control on our projects and responsibilities. Somebody can simply handle the 3D modeling, while other can do the reinforcement and detailing without having the right to change intentionally or by mistake the 3D model. Through the user rights management system, only the BIM modeler will have the right to create the 3D model and the draftman can only detail but never modify the original model. Also, at the same time, somebody can detail the formwork while somebody else is reinforcing the element. No need to fight over who keeps the elements on drawing anymore. So, what's the secret? Well, if it's a secret, then I can't tell you. But I'll give you a clue regarding what is happening backstage. The model view controller strategy was implemented in All Plan 2019. 
This means that instead of linking directly the views and sections to the 3D model, there is a controller environment in between. So every time you detail an element, the controller creates a copy of the selected elements and displays the section and view results. If changes occur in the 3D model, then the controller analyzes for consistency between itself and the 3D model and then updates the views and section. How does this change performance? Well, instead of updating all the existing associative views and section when editing an element, you see the updates only when you look at those elements. So this means that the system updates what you need to see and not all that have been created in the project related to those elements. In all plan 2018, there was a limit of 128 maximum linked drawings. And guess what? You'll never see this error again in all plan 2019. Thanks for watching. What do you think of all plan 2019? Please let me know by leaving a comment. If you like this movie, please send a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions regarding all plan or need standard or project training, here are my contact details. Goodbye for now.